Yo, tis the season, man. It is time for you to be buying frames right now. And I have the top five frames that you need from James Oral Frames, man. So with that being said, we're about to jump right into it, man. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Camp Crew? It's your homeboy, Camp Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and let me know you rocking with the team you dig. All right, today we are talking about a topic that I've been wanting to do for a while now because I have James Oil Frames, and I am a huge fan of this Frames brand. Any of my subscribers, y'all already know that I talk about James Oil Frames a lot. I wanted to give you my top five frames that you should be having right now. Let's just jump right into it, talk about these top five, show y'all what they are, and let you know why you should be buying them. So let's just get right into it, yeah. All right, y'all, now before we actually get into the whole shebang and we get into the top five, I wanna show y'all the frames that I have on right now for anybody that's curious what glasses these are. These are my caviar frames. If I wanted to stick out just a little bit more, if I wanted to show a little pizzazz or whatsoever and I wanted to show a little bit more flair, they have this design that's on the side of the legs that I think is fire and they actually have it on the nose as well. And then they got a robust presentation when it comes to the lenses as well because they like pretty big and they're rounded at the same time. One thing that I actually do like about this is that they have these legs that's on here that stretch out. They're comfortable. And the most important thing is because I wear these as a everyday, all day type of thing, they are very light. And I love the tint on here, the gradient tint, fire. If you are looking, I'm gonna have all the links that's listed down below for you of each frames that I show you. I had a price listed down and I'll let y'all know what's up as far as like finding them on the website. So you will have those listed down below and go check those out. Now, let's get to those top five. Let's go. All right, y'all, now first thing first is my black hunted twos these are my favorite but just to let you all know before we actually get to the frames i want to show you all the casing for every pair of frames that you buy you will have a case that is just like this you have one case you have one that's inside got another case on the inside you will also have your microfiber wipes that's on there all you need is this microfiber bag wipe it off everything go back to clean it'll look like it's fresh and new Boom, and this is your last case. This is one of my favorite. Open it, it got a magnet case that's on the inside. It's something real quick, and it looks like a good presentation wherever you have it set. You have some good protection with your frames at all times. All right, y'all, now looking at these frames, like I said, these are my favorite frames. These are these big boy frames. Now, I always wanted some black on black frames, and these are just it with a slight hint of gold that's on here, which I do like a lot. I wanted something that was just really minimalist, and on here is pretty heavy duty. You can feel that heaviness on here but it's not too heavy the weight of the frame is actually evenly distributed so i actually like that as well now the frames that's on these lenses that sit around these lenses is pretty thick so it looks more of a pretty in-depth and like this 3d presentation and at the same time it gives this whole old school retro nostalgia type of presentation so i actually like this this is the bigger frame of all the frames that i actually have this is the biggest one all right now next up is my black archetypes now if you look at these these are a smaller frame presentation these are a little bit smaller than the actual hundreds i actually like this because it's more of a sleeker presentation you can wear this in multiple ways now don't get me wrong with all the other frames you can actually wear them in multiple ways as well depending on how you have your style set up but in this case for me this could actually be like one of my everyday frames and just like the black hundreds you have this thick border around the frames so it gives that 3d presentation now also when you have your black on black you can't go wrong with having that gold accent that's on the inside of your frames which they have on the inside of their legs as well now you will also see they have these guarded clasps that's on here to make sure that they don't over extend and they don't break now with these frames these are not like the hundreds that have the big sides these are slick and slim and i think that that's what makes it stand out a little bit more to me now the last part about this that's really big to me is that yes by having their new updated logo which is that james oral o that's on the side here these are cold bro you can't go wrong with that. All right, now next up is my favorite of the entire bunch, honestly, especially when it comes to being casual. These rival frames are my favorite frames. Now, I like how this old school feel. Now, I told you all that I don't really wear too much gold and I don't want too much gold that's out there in your face like that, but this is a very minimalist style. Everything on here is simple, it's minimalist, it's straightforward, and it's not too in your face. It's something that's slim and it's laid back. They have a small slender frame that's on here 
here. They have the small nose guard that's on here. On the side, they have thin legs that's on here and everything is very minimalist. Nothing that's too crazy that sticks out on the side. The only designs that you really do see that's on here is of course the nose guard that's on here. You'll see the legs that's really slim and if you're looking really, really close, you'll see in the upper right hand corner, you'll see that James Oral logo that sit there on the right, the upper right hand frames of your glasses. Now, everything else is just really chill, laid back. It's slim, it's sleek, it's very chic, and it's casual. So these are my favorites when it comes to putting these frames on. All right, y'all. Now, next up is my Black Titans. Now, the name speaks for itself. Titan, it speaks for itself. These frames here are huge, bro. These frames are huge. I love this big rectangle presentation that's on here. The frames on here, the border around these lenses are fire. Of course, you know that, that stick out, that presentation that sticks out. The lenses that go inside, huge on presentation. On the side, they have those thicker legs that's on the side. These are fire. And I also have that James Oro logo that's on the side that I love, especially when I want to show off the logo. When I'm trying to show off, it's time to go big. It's time to show everybody what type of frames I'm wearing. You'll see that I'm wearing these James Oro frames. Now, when it comes to times of me wearing rectangle frames, I'm really trying to show off a little bit. But when it comes to rectangles, oh, I'm trying to bring it. And these are the ones that I'm trying to bring it with. If I have these black Titans on, I'm coming with it. These are fire. You'll see that they have the gold accent that's on the inside. You'll see the gold clasps that's on here. You'll see the gold and black James Oral logo that's on the side. And then on top of that, look at these frames, boy. Stop playing. All right, y'all. And lastly are your black aces now if you're not into the big bulky frames and a border and everything like that this is the slimmer of the bunch this is more lighter on your face and this is more slimmer it's not too thick this is not big and bulky like you'll see on the hundreds the armors the titans or anything like that and it's not too wide this is a more smaller square frame that you will actually see on these lenses so it won't sit wide and it won't sit heavy on your face you will actually feel that it has a very very light feeling to it whenever you put these frames on now on top of that like i said if you wanted something that was just really chill and it's not too out there in the open you have these these are perfect these are like the black on black lenses and they don't have too many logos that's on here and everything so if you don't want it to be standing out like that and you want it to be on a more simple side that's what you have you'll have your thinner legs that's on here it's not too big or anything like that but at the same time you also have that gold accent that's on the inside you'll also have that clasp that's on the inside to stop it from overextending and you will actually see that this is a heavy duty sturdy very sturdy very clean presentation on it and it's very light the only logo that you'll really see up on here is the O that's right here that James Oral O that's on here when it when you put the frames on and again you'll have to really look close on here in order for somebody to really really see that James Oral logo but at the same time that just lets you know that it's authentic real designer pieces this is the best kept secret in an eyewear game so you need to go ahead and get you some frames right now from James Oral this is like the perfect time for you to get it like I said right now especially in the holiday season all right y'all now I just showed y'all my top five frames plus one and each of them just shows you how different each of these frames are they have a variety of styles that are fit your style your image and your presentation that you're looking for so if you're looking to get your designer eyewear game up you need to go to james or right now like i said i have those links listed down below for you let me know which is your favorites so with that being said i'm gonna catch up with y'all next time y'all already know the vibes man i'm your homeboy camp quarterbanks so i'll catch up with y'all next time i'm out i'm gone i'll holler at y'all all right peace